Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be opening the May Premium Boxy Charm box. Got it today and finally got a moment to put some makeup on. Which, by the way, it's allergy season and I, I, I feel like just scratching like my whole face, like the whole thing. Just, just I want to rub every. Uh, it's it's bad, but for this ten minutes. I will endure some makeup for the video. Okay. Hey. This is like the exact same color as last time. I want to scratch my nose. Okay. I'm going to reach in here. Pure Heels. Centella 90 Ampule. like some kind of serum soothing ampule with which contains centella asiatica extract it relieves irritations of sensitive skin and strengthens the skin's barrier hmm. never heard of it what's it look like Ooh, this looks interesting it's like if you can see in there it's like very thick and gel like it smells somewhat minty this might be good for me at nighttime when I'm having allergies just to breathe in the like menthol kind of smell but I'm gonna have to look up this centella to see what it's all about so it sells for about $22. Does it have a cult following? Okay. Uh, what's next? Sugar Rush Tart Best Bud. Lip Butter Balm in Peony. Or Peony. I don't know. Peony? Peony? What, is, what, do you, what does everyone else say out there? This is really cute packaging. I love this kind of stuff, like, based on that alone, I will put that in my purse, because imagine your cute summer purse, take out your cute summer balm, and then you have your cute summer moment. Oh, this reminds me of, like, the smell of, like, lip smackers, almost. But it doesn't have a color. Just watch some here. No, it's just a clear bomb, but a cute clear bomb. Oh, let me just show you. And no color, but I like it. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. Very cute. Next item, something by Kat Von D, something in dark brown. It is a toy for our super brow, <gasps> long wear pomade. Not that I really need something like this, but pomade sounds intriguing to me. Okay. I mean, sometimes I want to fill some sparse areas. Just gonna go ahead and test this out real quick. It reminds me of um Mac. What's it called? Gel liner? Whatever the black track was in. Whoa. Definitely strong. I thought I had to even it out. Gotta be careful with this part. You can definitely see it there. Um, that's cool. I feel like this would last like a billion years though. 
for me. I really have the urge to brush that out with a spoolie. I feel like there's a ton of product in there. But, okay, let's move on. Anything else? Small in here. Milk makeup in flare. This seems familiar to me. What am I doing wrong? Is this a full size? This seems like very mini. Oh, of course I ruined it. Okay, let's just push that back right into place here. And is, this is a glow oil and glow oil lip and cheek. Try this on my cheek. I love stuff like this. Oh, that is pretty. Yes. I love cream cheek products because they look natural in a way that powder can never look. Yes, I love this. I like stuff like this, especially if it lasts underwater. If I'll ever get to go on my vacation that was supposed to happen. Um, okay. Next, I've got two big things in here. Skin and Co. Truffle therapy. Reconstructing truffle eye contour concentrate. Truffle. Oh, puffiness. Bags. Tired eyes. Dark circles. They've got my attention. Oh, it's a tiny thing in here. Yeah, I hope it helps with allergy eyes because that's what I'm suffering from right now. Oh, that smells, that smells so good. Now that's the smell of summer right there. That's like kind of like that cocoa vibe. It's very light, which I guess is good. I like a light eye cream, but it's very, very fragrant for an eye cream. Is this, a, this is an eye cream, right? Yeah, it's an eye cream. I've never, experienced an eye cream that is like so fragrant but i mean you're only going to be using a tiny bit so i will try this tomorrow morning and see if it helps with my when i wake up with my puffy eyes gmo free to the last thing which is a big thing we've got a two-faced natural matte is match uh Natural Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Okay. Thankfully, I do not have this. Very pretty. I like the packaging. Oh, this is nice. This to me would be just like a kind of an everyday palette. The one I'm wearing right now is this one right here. Not really, I would say, I mean, there are everyday colors in here, but the whole look together. I always try to like, if a palette is like promoting like a certain look, I try to go with what that palette is doing. So I try to use all the colors. And this one's like very like honey um, of that color family. So I tried to do a look with that. So I wouldn't call this one an everyday one for me. This is more like an everyday look, more like mattes. Um, very neutral mid-tone colors. I like it. And yeah, that makes up the premium box for me this month. And 
thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the base box. Bye. There's gonna be a base box, right?